Hi, so I'm going to just really quickly show how to um, edit the quiz settings in Canvas for students with disabilities. So I just made a fake quiz here and I'm clicking on it and I want to show you um, something that uh, makes it easier. So you have already edited your deadline for all the students. I'm going to come back into this window in just a moment. So this is what your entire class would be having for their deadline. And you can see that they have 90 minutes and then there's a due date and then the availability period. So if you have a student who's getting accommodations or they need time and a half to do that, you would go up to moderate this quiz over here on the right. Now, this is our fake course, so we don't have a list of students, but if you click on your course, you're going to see all your students lifted, listed over here on the left. And so this is where you can edit the time allowed for that particular student. So everybody else gets 90 minutes. Your student, if, if they have time and a half, that would be 135 minutes, right, because it's 90 minutes times one and a half. So I'm going to come over here and hit the edit button, which looks like a pencil and it's saying extra time on every attempt. So everyone already gets 90 minutes, so they wanna know what extra time you're gonna have. So if they get a total of 135 minutes, that means they get extra 45 minutes. So essentially what I did, and actually I'll just share, um, just to make sure that that's clear, I'll share my calculator. So you can see, that I started with 90 minutes and then I multiplied it times the one and a half. That made 135 minutes. Then I subtracted out the 90 minutes that they're already going to get. So that means they get an extra 45 minutes. So now I'm gonna go back to our screen. That's me. Okay, so in this um, option here, then I'm going to type in 45 minutes. If um, you want to adjust their attempts. So actually, I'm going to save this so you'd see what it looks like. So now you would see this student gets extra 45 minutes. And if um, all the other students won't say that. Now, let's say that a student accidentally opened up the quiz and, uh, you know, they weren't ready or something happened and the computer died and it submitted and they weren't ready and you want to give them another chance to do it. In Blackboard, you would have reset the quiz, but in Canvas, what you do is you give them an extra attempt. It, this is, I don't know what your policy is, but if you wanted to give a student a second try, then you would hit this same edit button, and here you would say they can have two attempts. So that means that now this particular student is gonna have two attempts. Oh, I give them three because I give them an extra two. I want them to have one extra attempt. So here's extra attempts. The student already gets one. I'm adding one extra attempt. So now you can see this student has two attempts. So if they needed a second attempt because something went wrong the first time, this is where you would edit it too. And the reason I point this out is because you wanna leave your quiz settings as they originally were for the entire class. You don't wanna edit this for the entire class if you're just trying to modify for one student. So um, let's say you have a student who missed the quiz and given everything we're going through right now, we wanna give them the extended uh, deadline for them. Then you have to come in here and edit. And I'm going to let it load for just a moment. And then you scroll down to the very bottom and see how everyone has a deadline of March 28th. Let's say that's now the 29th and they forgot to take it and you would like them to have the option. You're going to click this add button here and then you're going to choose the student. Now this is where you would have a list of all of your students but because this is course doesn't really have um, a bunch of students, then um, they're not listed here. But you would start to type in their last name and then it would pull up and you would click on them and then you would um, select the a different due date and a different availability date um, other than what everyone else sees. So that's nice because the rest of the class still only sees what's up here. They don't go, hey, wait a minute, I'm confused. I thought the deadline was something else. The um, student that you select in this box would have would see a different due date. And so when you save, then those listings will be uh, listed out here. So those are the things to think about. Again, when you're dealing with a student with a disability, you do want to leave these settings alone so that all the students see the same thing and then you moderate their particular quiz over here in this button.